Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Attack Yopi. In this video, I am going to show you how we can use branch voice management system. Branch voice management system help us to keep our data centralized and split the database into different local branches. So if you are planning to access each branch in a remote place, then you should have an active internet connection. So let's an example. If you have a branch one in a remote location, if you enter any transaction, if you have an internet connection, it will transfer the data to the database or main server and back and forth. So if any branch, any local branch lose the internet connection, they cannot do any transaction unless the internet connection is retained. All the transaction from branches will store in the database separately so that we can access independent reports for each branch. Although the server can see all the transactions of all branches separately or integrated basis. So let's start the video and how attack ERP handle all these things using branch voice management system. So first we need to enable branch voice management system from global settings so you can search multi branch management system. So you can enable this in order to activate multi branch management system which is available in standard and premium. Associate settings like branch wise locking which help you to hide transactions from one local branch to another. Second one is filter branch in masters which help you to maintain independent masters like product, party, supplier or ledgers. In other words each branch have their own products and masters. Next one is branch wise voucher series as the name says help you to keep branch voice vouchers next one is user voice branch this helps to provide more security for the branch which we can give user voice branch access so let's try out each so first one we need to create branch and depots as required for example we can input a branch name branch one we can select it as local branch under main branch and can save it just like I just created three different branches and associated depots you can see name here you can select type under main branch you can save it accordingly also if it is depot you can input the name you can select type as depot and also you can select the branch which hold the depot so this is how you can create branches I just created three different branches one main branch which hold all these which means it is it will integrate all the report under this main branch you can see all these local branches so this is how you can create branches and depots next one is filter branch in master let's start with product from the settings I just enabled filter branch in master so this is a normal product creation window here we can input product name as for example product 1 and group rate sales rate so all the requirement is done then you can just switch the tab branch details which you can enable the visibility of the this particular product for example local branch if I enable it it only show that particular product in local branch if you need to enable all which means can see in all branch so you can just uh, select any particular branch visibility of this particular product so just like this you can just enable it. okay so if you need to change it you can just change it anytime so this is how you can use filter branch in master for product so just like this you can just do all other masters for example party so uh, let's uh, start with the party uh, party have same option you can just enable the visibility of party or uh, the party which we are creating for example party one it only see local branch or wh wh whichever we are enabling so just like this you can just uh, use filter branch in masters 
it apply all ledgers next one is branch wise voucher series here you can just uh, open it you can select your branch you can input voucher series the starting voucher series for example uh, for local branch one LBA and you can save it or else you can just add more for example the second branch branch 2 we can input another series LB B okay so it start with LBA 1 LBB 1 just like this it will start for each branch transactions next one is user voice branch so first of all we need to create a user as you know you can create employee just like this you can select employee type example salesman and you can just uh, switch the tab branch details you can see you can enable it the visibility of this particular employee is enabled now you can give a username and password for this particular employee for example I'm just giving one two three seven eight now you can set branch for this particular user by opening user voice branch and you can select the user and you can just enable it so he can only log in to that particular branch which we are enabling here for example local branch let's see how we can log in by logging if I'm using admin admin have all privileges so admin can log in to any location by selecting the location here you can see everything so if I'm using a user which have a limited access he can only see that particular local branch which we just enabled so just like this he can log in he can do the transaction he can only see his transactions his uh, branch transactions his branch reports everything filtered based on his username he can only see his local branch so this is how it works for user wise branch so let's check branch wise locking so branch wise locking help you to filter transactions so one branch cannot see another branch transaction local branch so I'm just logging local branch okay this is local branch I'm using sale invoice as you can see voucher series changed anyway I'm just input a normal sale invoice this is a local branch sale invoice I just saved it okay so this particular branch can see uh, all the transaction that we made so if I switch the branch for example local branch 2 they cannot see any other transaction or any other branch transaction which, he, which is locked actually so he, they need a transaction they need to input separately so this is how branch wise locking works so if it is a main branch main branch can see all branch transaction because it is supervisor or the ultimate power they have they can see all the transactions just like this so uh, a main branch can easily check the report all the reports they select main branch it shows all the report if they select local branches it shows independent reports so this is how a branch voice management system works